Hello friends and welcome back to A Cozy Lifestyle with Clarissa Coward. Today's video is going to be outside. We are refreshing our deck area for spring and summer to enjoy the season. My husband has already power washed it, um, or he has power washed it. You will see a little bit of that in this video. And I am repotting plants and after that we will put the ceiling on. That will be in part two of this refresh and uh, then I will get to the fun part which is decorating but come on in and let's get started on part one of our deck refresh for 2021. So friends we're going to start here with the power washing you can see hubs is out there uh, getting all the gook and the gunk off from you know the entire winter and um, we do this almost every year I think he did do it last year uh, I think he enjoys it it's noisy uh, but I think he enjoys this part of it and for me I'm just sort of taking inventory of what I need to do um, when he's done in the past we've always rented a power washer but this year we decided to um, bite the bullet and purchase one. So he has a new toy. So not only am I getting my deck power washed today, but I'm also going to get the stones out front power washed and possibly the sidewalk is all as well. While he's doing that, I'm going to be repotting some flowers for now and then we'll move right along. I absolutely love playing in the dirt, repotting flowers. And I purchased these um, brown flower pots, as you can see, sitting on the end of the blue bench there from um, Dollar General, actually. They were $10 each. They're big and they're really, really pretty. So I'm repotting um, several of my plants that are really overgrown. This one that you see sitting here that I'm messing with now, I'm going to eventually throw this whole thing out. I was digging in there and I found a bed of ants. Well, I can't deal with that. So I let it sit for a minute while I was trying to decide what to do with it. And I ended up tossing plant, pot, everything. Um, they were just creepy and crawly and everywhere and I just didn't want to deal with it. But I tried. I let it sit there for a few minutes while I was deciding and planting other plants. And um, I just couldn't do it. So they had to go. <laughs> Friends, this bag of dirt is really heavy, so what I'm doing is just putting dirt in this pot and carrying it from place to place to, to um, repot the pots until I get it down so I can drag it around. Um, this is really a workout day, but it feels good. Um, when this was over, I was so tired and so sore when I took my shower, but it felt really, really good. So friends, for the plants that I am not repotting, I am um, adding new soil to them so that they are, you know, can get some new nutrients. All of them didn't have to be repotted. Also, you can see from this one, I'm giving it a nice haircut. <laughs> it's so thick and so pretty up top and it will drape again over the, um, over the summer. But although the pot is all full and green and lush, what was hanging down you know, it had some breaks in it and it had some dead leaves. So I decided just to give it a nice haircut. I have no fear of plants. I just love them. So I give it a shot. I even took one plant out of the pot, cut the roots off, narrowed them down a bit and then put them back because I didn't have a pot big enough to transplant them in. And it worked. Um, I'd seen my mom do that. She has the greenest thumb ever, much greener than mine, even though I do okay. She could grow anything. Uh, and it worked for me as well, so that's an idea. A little tip for you if you're running out of pot space for your plants.
if you see me bopping around a bit, Puss <laughs> left me with some good jazz playing. So I'm really in my element, digging in the dirt with a little jazz playing in the background. It's a good day. <laughs> So friends, we are going to do a general watering, but the plants that I'm repotting, I'm also feeding with um, miracle Grow, And you'll see that I plant two roses as well. And for them, I'm also going to add um, a little bit of Epsom salt. That's a little tip for you too. Epsom salt works great on rose bushes. And I'm going to grow rose bushes in pots. This will be the first time I'm trying this really. Did it last year with one, it did okay. But this year I'm trying a different type of rose. So we'll see how that goes. What I'm working on now in the long green pot is not my project. As you can see, Hubs is laughing as he's going down the steps because he wanted to grow vegetables. And I, I'm a flower grower, not really vegetables, unless it's tomatoes. But he has cucumbers, three different types in this little thing. And he also has a cantaloupe. And once they get bigger, of course, we will move them from this place. We want to see if they were actually going to flourish in our environment. But this is not my project. This is his. So I'm wondering why he's laughing and leaving me planting his little fruits and vegetables. That's the way it goes. <laughs> So friends, here I thought I'd give you the names of some of the plants that I'm dealing with here. The green pot, as you saw, are strawberries. The one behind it is a hosta. What I'm repotting here is a lemon balm. Oh, it smells delicious. And the one to my right are marigolds. Just so you know what I'm working with. And friends, the plants that I'm repotting, they've sat out here all winter. Um, and they just needed some refreshing. They're not new. The only things that are new will be the... Um, two rose bushes that I'm actually three rose bushes that I'm going to plant into pots everything else I am repotting so they have done well over the um over the winter we didn't really have we didn't have any snow this winter but it did get a little it got cold for North Carolina for a few days but they've all thrived so far and so now I'm making them happy for spring and summer to get another flourishing season out of them all Take it slow, girl, high key You need to find somebody else besides me Yeah, I understand that you like me What a thought, though Rejection is a hard pill to swallow If it's love, then let it be Cause if you force it, you gon' end up with your heart broke Yeah I hope the rain don't come in November Cause the summer went way too Tears 
said your love was real, you said your love is strong You tryna hold me tight and never let me go You moving way too fast, we need to take it slow Guess that's what happens when you hanging in for way too long Girl, a high key, you need to find somebody else besides me Yeah, I understand that you like me What a thought though, rejection is a hard pill to swallow If it's love, then let it be Cause if you force it, you gon' end up with your heart broke Rain don't come in November Cause the summer went way too fast I'm trying real hard to remember All of the good times and memories we had And she called out, called out crying You said our love Worth dying for And she keep on Keep on So guys, if you're wondering what's in my spray pot and I'm wiping everything down with, that is actually vinegar, vinegar. No water, just straight vinegar. I have found that it is helping me with my issue with squirrels. Um, they can dig in my pots and dig up the dirt and they actually killed some flowers before. So I have found so far, even with all of this new dirt, um, they haven't bothered them. So. I'm cleaning my pots with the vinegar, but I'm also spreading it around the rim as well. And what I will do continually if I find that this works is come out weekly unless it rains and spray the pots to keep the squirrels away. So far, it's working. Also, if you see my rusty little plant stand there, it's going to get scraped and spray painted black eventually. Halfway, as you can see there. Um, I didn't do such a good job on mine, but the other one on the other side, um, Actually, Hubs came out and he took the spray painting over and it's it's much better. I think he's going to repaint mine. The other um, plant stand you see sitting in front of the tables I ordered from Amazon and they each hold three pots, but they don't hold very large pots. And here we are at the end of this. Everything is clean. The deck has been power washed. My plants have all been repotted and this is what it looks like now. I hope you have enjoyed playing in the dirt with me. I have surely enjoyed this day. It has been so much fun. A lot of work, but fun. If you're not already a member or haven't joined my, my little family here, hit that subscribe button below and join our family. We'd be glad to have you. Also, hit the bell so you'll be notified of all upcoming content. I'm going to leave you now the way that I always do. With lots of love, hugs, and blessings. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Have fun planting, and please, be well, be happy, be good.